Mm, yeah. Uh, see, I was going to fake this phone call, but I'm, I'm not very good at acting, so I'm just going to tell you straight. A friend of mine called me a few days ago, and he said his son wants to start a YouTube channel. So I said, okay, well, what, what is it about? Um, he said, well, my son wants to start vlogging. It's going to be a vlogging-style YouTube channel. I said, good luck, like, if he's into that, walking around with a selfie stick... Um, anyway, he asked me what would be the best camera uh, setup for that sort of um, uh, style of shooting. Uh, I thought about it and I, um, I realized this is a good idea for a YouTube video. So here it is. In today's video, I'm going to show you what's the, in my opinion, the, ca the best camera uh, setup for vloggers. Here we go. <laughs> But before we start, I want to apologize for uh, if I sound a bit rough. I'm just recovering after a severe cold that I had for uh, the past couple of weeks. And um, I might sound a bit rusty because I haven't posted anything since uh, last year. So, anyway, for, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Radu. I do photography and videography related content camera gear reviews, tutorials, tips and tricks, and all of that good stuff. So, let's get it started. Let's not waste any more time. This is uh, what I think it is, in my opinion, uh, the best camera setup for vloggers. And it's made out of five pieces, which we're gonna go through in a minute. So let's go through the parts. Obviously, we're gonna start with the camera body. And we use in I'm using the Sony ZV E10. This is a camera that came out last year, and it's an amazing bang for the buck uh, for this purpose for a vlogging style uh, setup. It it's amazing because it has a flip out screen and it shoots 4K up to 30 frames per second. Um, I'm not going to go through all the specs of the camera. There's a million videos out there on YouTube uh, that you can watch but um, this produces really quality uh, video and photos and for the price you're not uh, you not you can't go wrong with this one then for the lens I'm using the Sigma 18 to 50 zoom lens 18 to 50 f 2.8 this again amazing quality uh, zoom lens from Sigma and with the aperture f 2.8 you get that blurry uh, background it's a quite small and lightweight but don't be fooled by the weight and the, 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 the size of this lens it produces really crisp footage optionally you can go with a prime lens such as the Sigma 16mm 1.4 again very uh, crisp sharp lens from uh, Sigma quite affordable even cheaper than the, the, the zoom lens but um, I find that this being lighter and you get uh, the zoom from 18 to 50 18 millimeters for me it's is wide enough I'm not a basket basketball player but and so I don't have really long hands but is wide enough uh, to get everything in the frame including my big head then we'll go over to sound so obviously the microphone we're gonna use this affordable Rode video micro this is a few years old and there's loads of reviews uh, for this microphone on YouTube uh, but for the price, you get an amazing sound quality. This is uh, reduced now, I think it's about 40 um, pounds on Amazon. Obviously, when you shoot outside, sometimes it's windy, so you're gonna want to use the Dead Cat. This muff here. And then for table, table tripod, I went with this Ulanzi table tripod which is very affordable but uh, it does have a few tricks up its sleeve um, for one it has this convenient cold shoe mount on the side which you can use to mount your microphone 
and then the legs do extend like this when you set it on the desk or on a table and you want uh, you want it to be a bit higher so you can extend the legs or if you feel like your uh, your lens is not wide enough then uh, you extend the legs like this it does come with a ball head and another thing that's very convenient this top you, you can unscrew it and if you don't want to mount uh, your camera on it you can swap it you can turn it around and you get yourself another cold shoe mount maybe you can uh, mount a light on top of on top of here and then last but not least the ND filter in this case I'm using a variable ND filter from KNF concept um, with a step up ring because this is a 67 millimeter um, variable ND filter and my lens thread is 55 so I'm using the, the step up ring you definitely need this because when you shoot outside and you want to uh, respect the 180 degree rule you shoot in 24 frames per second you need your shutter speed to be double that so 1 over 50 but in sunny conditions or when there's plenty of light outside you will have you will it that would be impossible without the nd filter so you definitely need the nd filter so these are the five parts of the setup the camera the lens the microphone the table tripod and the nd filter and then optionally if you want to add to the to this setup like i did you can add a cage for the camera body the light in this case i'm using the aperture mc uh, which is a tiny but mighty uh, light very useful in low light conditions you can mount this on top of the cage with a small ball head like this one from aperture or you can use any other uh, ball head so let's put it all together and uh, take it outside uh, for, a, for a test and see how, uh, how it looks like. I know I, I said I was going to go outside to test uh, this vlogging setup and I was going to go in the park but um, I'm just too lazy I've become so lazy lately and I've got this uh, cold with me for the past couple of weeks so I ended up in the back garden drinking tea out of my 24 to 105 um, Canon lens well it's actually Kanyam zoom lens 24 to 105 made in china um yes and i'll uh, take this opportunity to ask every one of you to subscribe because i've just got a notification from youtube that i've hit a hundred subscribers hooray might not seem much to you but um, it's a big accomplishment for me and um, let's get it up to a thousand soon won't we so this is uh, how it looks and sounds like out of the ZV-E10 with the video micro uh, plugged into it and um, the, the the ND filter the KNF concept ND filter set to ND8 I'm in the shade right now and it is a bit windy outside so hopefully the dead cat does its job to reduce that wind noise i would say about the setup see my my hand already hurts a bit even though it's not that heavy uh, about this setup the only thing i'm concerned about 
would be the micro jitters in, uh, in the footage because none of the, of the camera body or the lens are stabilized. There is a way to fix that though. The ZV-E10, this tiny little mighty camera, records the gyroscopic metadata, metadata. Then you can run the footage through Catalyst Browse, Sony's um, free software, and stabilize the footage in, in post. Another thing to consider would be the fact that you will run out of battery very fast. So uh, in my tests, the battery of the ZV-E10, which is the NPFW50, I think it's called, uh, lasts about 30 minutes on 4K video. Um, so you will, you will need a few of them batteries in your pocket. Coming up to the end of the video, I just finished my cup of tea. I'll give you my uh, final thoughts, my conclusion about this vlogging camera setup. I will fully stand behind it, 100% recommend it. I've put all the parts in the description um, below. But um, what you, in my opinion at least, what you get for this money, which I've put on paper is just over a thousand pounds, 1,230 pounds. Um, you get in bank for your buck. I mean, this is uh, an outstanding quality setup, uh, meaning that you you buy an auto video camera that can shoot 4K up to 30 frames per second. This uh, zoom lens from Sigma 18 to 50 f 2.8 can do portraits, landscape, um, street photography, you name it. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you did, please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions hit me up in the comment section below i will try to answer all of them and until the next video peace